Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So this is our own Hyundai Ioniq Electric. It's a 2017 vehicle, uh, 28 kilowatt hour. This is now just over five years old and is now out of warranty. But this car has done 95,000 miles and we've just experienced the first faults on this car. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what the faults are. It might help other people in the future and show you how to remedy it. So I jumped in the car, but I'm gonna to have to leave the air conditioning running because it is really hot in here at the moment. Um, it's gonna be the hottest day of the year so far today, well over 30, um, but it's only, uh, what is it? It's 11 o'clock in the morning and it's 24 degrees already. Uh, but yes, yeah, it's much hotter inside the car here. So I hope the noise of the fans is gonna annoy you too much. So um, the errors we've been getting on this car, we've basically been getting um, the autonomous braking disabling, the um, blind spot min um, monitoring disabling. It also disables the um, regen braking completely. That makes it quite hard to drive because it feels like it's constantly running away with you. Um, but uh, I started it today and been for a little drive and I cannot make it error, um, but it's been doing this for a few weeks now. It has been intermittent. Um, but I'll call up some photographs we've got of the errors on the screen. Um, sometimes we've been able to shut the vehicle down and restart and they clear and it allows us to drive, but majority of the time now it's virtually coming on every time. But uh, today it was camera shy because all the errors are cleared and they don't seem to um, replicate themselves when I'm pointing a camera at it. But anyway, I plugged in the diagnostic scanner down here into the uh, ODB2 port and um, could scan the car to see what the problems were. Let me just get out of this. And it was quite clear after scanning it what the issue was. So we've got an error here on the um, stability control. If I go into that one, well, we've got two faults there actually on that one and go into the trouble codes. We can see left rear wheel speed sensor and left rear wheel sensor again. So the ABS sensor or the wheel sensor is faulty on the left rear. And if I go back and look at the blind spot monitoring on the left, Clearly the same fault has also affected the blind spot monitoring. Signal of wheel is invalid, so it doesn't tell you there which one, but obviously it's the same signal. And we've got the same issue with the right hand blind spot monitoring, and then we've got smart cruise control and autonomous braking. Let's just go into that, trouble codes there. And again, left rear wheel speed sensor and ESP uh, error. So clearly a wheel sensor has caused all the safety systems to um, error and give us problems. So today's job is to change that rear wheel sensor to fix these issues. And that's the first problem this car has had. That will be the first part fitted to this car in 95,000 miles. It's had nothing other than tires, wiper blades, and uh, annual services. And on these, the service is just a cabin filter behind the glove box and then occasional brake fluid change. And that's it. This car is still on original brake pads and discs and um, it's had nothing go wrong or no uh, other money spent on it. So normally on cars, uh, wheel sensors, ABS sensors, just consist of a little sensor that bolts in the back of the hub with a 10 mil bolt and then a bit of cabling on the back to bring it up to a connector. And they're normally typically uh, 20 to 30 quid. Main dealer parts might be um, more like 60 quid, 70 quid. I've seen sort of 80 quid before, but that sort of money. So um, I looked at the parts diagrams on these and indeed the fronts, they are just sensors on a bit of a cable um, harness. Uh, but on the back, 
Uh, I did order the cable harness, but luckily the parts department said no, that isn't the sensor, that is just the harness, and the sensor is actually built in the hub, so you need a hub, and this is it. So on the back, you've got to buy a whole new hub assembly just to get that little sensor, because it is not removable. Which is a shame, because it turns into a much bigger job than it needs to be, and obviously a much more expensive job. This was 170 quid, including VAT, which actually, for what it is, isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, a bit annoying when all I want is that sensor, which should be sort of 20, 30 quid. But anyway, that's today's job. Change that rear hub. At least I get a new um, wheel bearing. Not that it needs it. But um, yeah, there we go. So I don't really have time today to film all of this and to film how to change a rear hub assembly like this. It's a relatively easy job, but really the point of this video was just to show you the errors, which of course aren't being displayed today, which is very annoying. But the point of the video is just to explain what this issue is. It's the first issue we've had on this car and what you do to resolve it. And obviously in this case, it was a wheel sensor and I've got to replace the whole hub. So um, it might help someone who has similar um, traction control, autonomous braking and blind spot monitoring errors on their dash that we were getting. Um, again, I'll drop the pictures up on the screen. And um, if you get those errors, then yes, ideally you want to scan it, but more than likely it is just a wheel sensor. And I've seen this issue on other EVs. I've had it on EMV 200s and Leafs and things like that, where you'll get one wheel sensor which causes all the safety systems in modern cars just to throw a wobbly and you'll get repeated um, errors up on the screen of all your braking, ABS and um, all the safety systems just erroring just because it's not measuring the speed of one of your wheels. So a bit of a specialist video this one but it may help some people in the future. So as always if you've liked this video please do click that thumbs up button on YouTube that really does help other people find the channel. Do subscribe if you haven't and if you want to see more videos on these cars the Hyundai Ionic Electric search the channel use that search function and just put in ionic and there's lots of other videos on there on these cars so i've been asked about the condition of the original hub and this is it but it was some weeks ago now that i took this out of the ionic and this has been chucked on the scrap heap the metal heap uh, and it's been raining so it does look rusty and it wasn't like this when it came off the car but uh, I assume it's the wheel bearing that people want to know about because after all this car's done uh, 90, 98,000 miles, I think. But yeah, that bearing in there is as good as the new one. There is absolutely no noticeable wear of the wheel bearing. Just to recap, the reason why I changed this is just for that ABS sensor. But unfortunately on these, that is integrated into the hub and bearing. So you can't replace that so i had to replace the whole unit but that's all i needed needed to replace it for is just because this sensor was playing up the actual wheel bearing is perfectly good so these are very high quality bearings and obviously going to last a long time it's just a shame that that sensor is what let this one down